بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اینڈ السلام علیکم دس از کیمبرج پرائمری میتھمیٹکس لرنرس بک اینڈ آئی ایم آر سی ایس این دس از اے بک فار گریڈ تھری اینڈ ان مائی ٹو ڈیز ویڈیو وی ول ڈسکس دا ٹاپک منی اوکے فار انٹروڈیوسنگ دا ٹاپک منی فرسٹ آف آل وی ہیو ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ اور آن کرنسی لائک آئی ایم ان پاکستان سو فرسٹ آئی ول انٹروڈیوس روپیز ٹو مائی اسٹوڈینٹس Uh, the Pakistani currency is rupees. So I will tell my students that uh, rupees is written as RS. My currency is written as RS. And uh, India has the same currency. Uh, Indian currency is also in rupees. But my 100 rupees is different than Indian 100 rupees. The value of our currency is different. And then I will introduce pounds. Pound is a different currency that is used in England. And uh, dollars. Dollar is a different currency that is being used in Canada and America. America and Canada. Okay. Uh, every country has its own currency. کینیڈا اینڈ امیرکا دے بوتھ ہیو ڈالر بٹ دا ویلو آف دیئر ڈالر از ڈفرینٹ امیریکن ڈالر از یو ایس ڈی یو ایس ڈالر اینڈ کینیڈین ڈالر از کیڈ کینیڈین ڈالر سی اے ڈی اینڈ دیئر ویلو از ڈفرینٹ لائک امیریکن ڈالر ون ہنڈریڈ امیریکن ڈالر از مور دین ون ہنڈریڈ کینیڈین ڈالر Okay, sorry, I came to a wrong window. One minute, it should be here. Okay, money. In this unit, we will introduce money and uh, we will tell our students that how to use decimals in writing the money. Use the decimal point to show two different units of money in the same amount. Okay, how to use two different units of money? It means that uh, like... My currency is rupees, RS, rupees and pesos. One rupee has 100 pesos. Same like this, one dollar, one dollar has 100 cents. One dollar has, one dollar is equals to 100 cents. Right? Okay, if it is 23 point four two dollars then it means that twenty three dollars and forty two cents so here we will write four dollars and fifty cents we will write them as four point five zero c here with the sign of dollar and for next one with the sign of dollar we will write eight point seven zero c Seven zero means seventy eight dollars and seventy cents. Next is twenty four dollars and five cents. For writing five cents, we will write zero five. Like on the clock, we write that it is eight o'clock and five minutes. We have to write it in double digit notation. Same like uh, this is with the cents. It is eight dollars and five cents. 5 should be written with 0, 5. 0, 5. If we will write 8 dollars and 5 cents, it is not 5. It is be um, used as 50. Let me remove this. And uh, when it is only 10 dollars, it means that no cents. 10 dollars and no cents. No cents means double zero C. Two zeros, we will put two zeros, not a single zero, we will put two zeros. And 99 cents are written as 0.99 C. Okay, using dollar and cents. How will we write 20.45? 20 dollars and 45 cents. We will write C for cents. Next is nine dollars and and 
75 cents. Next is 15 dollars. Next is 2 dollars and 9 cents. And next is 30 cents. You have to see uh, 3.47. You have to see first digit after decimal. Okay. Okay. If it is, uh, you can ask the students uh, 3.47 is greater or 3.9 is greater. So 3.9 is greater because you have to see the first digit after decimal. And when there is decimal in a number, you can put a zero at the end. It will not make any difference. It will still remain uh, $3.90. When I don't have a zero at the end, it is still $3.90. So it's better to put a zero to remove the confusion. As I told you earlier that uh, the amount will be written in double digits like uh, like we write time on the clock it is uh, with double digits. Okay, it is in double digits. Zero zero double dots and zero zero. Forty two point four seven. It is forty two dollars and forty seven cents. Okay, it is 5.63. 5.63 is greater or 5.8 is greater. So 5.8 is greater because 5.8 means $5.80. We have to see the 10th side. We have to see the digit written right after the decimal. Okay, we will do rest of the pages later in my next video. Thanks for watching. Allah Hafiz.